going on with my ribs and boos? It's Rear Ralph. And Mika Boo. And today, y'all, we are here on another mukbang. Mukbang, mukbang, mukbang. And review. And review. So, today we <clears> are <throat> on this fish and fries mukbang. Y'all ain't seen us in a minute. You know what I'm saying? So, we here <laughs> to drop a video on y'all. We back. We back. We back. We back. We back. We back. <laughs> <laughs> So, um, tell them what type of fish we got today, babe. Um, we have some sway fish on the menu for y'all today. Some mm. fries and some homemade tartar sauce that I made. Uh -huh. And today, y'all, we are trying some peach habanero hot sauce that we got from Bucky's. That's right. Bucky's, Bucky's, Bucky's. They just built their Bucky's. Over there in Florence, South Carolina, you know what I'm saying? They just built it. It's been built for it's, a few, few it's, months. It's practically new. It's well, it about six new. months now, right? I don't know. It's practically new. It just got built this year, so it's new to me. But um, yeah, we stopped yeah. in there and we we got that hot. They got plenty of hot sauces in there, but <clears throat> we wanted to try that right there out, so we snagged that one. And we're gonna see how it tastes, y'all. So let's get into this blessing because we, we hungry, we hungry, we hungry. He's so extra. <laughs> let's get into the blessing. Let's get into it. Lord, we're about to receive. Lord, thank you for the food we're about to receive in our body. In your name, Jesus, we pray. Amen, 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 amen. Amen. Thumbnail. Oh. Thumbnail. <laughs> All right. Okay. That's good. And two of uh, You want some ketchup? Yes, ma'am. We need to get some more ketchup, actually. Put me some ketchup right here. Oh, we need some more ketchup. Yeah. Y'all, how y'all been doing? How y'all holiday been? You know what I'm saying? How y'all holiday went? You know, um, we had a pretty good. Um, Thanksgiving. Want some mustard? Yeah. I'm gonna just put it on the side. Um, <clears throat> you know, got to be around a lot of family and friends. Mm-hmm. We have a topic for y'all today, too. And do, and do. Them fries good. They are. Mm-hmm. I'm about to try a little bit of hot sauce. It looks thick. Oh my. Oh, are we drinking on some Canada Dry? Yeah, I'm drinking on the water. I'm going to use this side because it looks kind of thick. You know what that means? If it's thick, it's hot. You want some? And do. You want me to put it on me? Oh, um, no, I'll just put some right here on the side right here. Put some on the side. With it tastes like. You, know. mm. you tasted it yet? No, I ain't tasted it yet. You said tasting it. Well, I ain't tasted <laughs> it yet. <laughs> what you think? Let me taste it again. <laughs> Rance bites. There it is. Y'all get a bite of that. Hold up. Y'all get a bite of that. And uh. Mmm. It's different. It has like a sweet taste to it, right? I don't get hot. Nah, it got like a uh when it first hit me, it tastes like um. It tastes like a bell, it tastes like bell pepper. It's good though. It's different. Mm hmm Yeah, that tastes I like- I don't get hot though. It's not hot at all. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. What would you rate it? Cause it's a hot sauce, so I need it to be yeah, I'm thinking it's gonna be hot. Yeah, it don't have no kind of kick to it. That's not hot at 
at all. On a scale from one to ten, what would you rate here? Oh, I gotta, I gotta get back into it some more. Hold on. Yeah, when I first taste it, it tastes like, you know, a bell pepper or something. I didn't get bell pepper. It tastes, it tastes like some type of pepper. It tastes like a hot pepper. That would be a hot pepper. Not to me, because it's not hot. I get more sweet. It got a little heat. It's a hint of heat to it. Let me taste some. Y'all see how thick this fish is? Yeah, it got. That would taste like too, a hot pepper. One of the green ones. I don't know. Oh, no. <laughs> I can tell you that. It's not my favorite. I can tell you that. It ain't bad though. Yeah, but I can use my Texas Peak. You know Texas Peak gonna be in there all day long. Well, we didn't get it. We forgot to get it out the cabinet. Got home right quick. <clears throat> Need that Texas peak on this good old fried fish here. Ain't nothing like some Texas peak. Man. Ain't nothing like some Texas peak. Mm -hmm. So yeah, y'all, like we were saying, we hope y'all enjoyed y'all holidays and the holidays that's coming up. And um, how yeah. many of y'all ready for Christmas? Did you start your Christmas shopping early? Or are you one of those ones that wait till the last minute? I'm kind of an in-between. Sometimes I start a couple weeks before Christmas, and sometimes I wait till the last minute. This year, y'all, I'm on it. Yeah, she been on it now. I'm on it, dog on it. <laughs> y'all tell me, when she go back in the store to take y'all with her, Cause she, she be in all these good stores around all these good products and content. And she don't even be taking y'all with her. I be on the mission. Yesterday I went about six different stores. Catch up. See that she went to six stores on y'all. I went to Kohl's, I went to um, Michaels. I went to the mall. We went to Bed Bath, Bed Bath, and um, what is it? Bed Bath and Body Work, I think. Victoria's Secrets. Uh, where else did we go? Hobby Lobby, Dollar Tree. Uh, I think that's all the places that we went yesterday. Mm -hmm. I was on a mission. Because this year I just don't want to get caught up in the crowd. I I want to have my Christmas shopping done and out the way. And I've been to a few stores with them, but not yesterday. And it's people in there shopping already. Mm-hmm. So imagine. Did you take the time? I did. So imagine. We get closer to the Christmas time. So I don't want to be in that traffic. I'm learning that too to get my Christmas shopping out the way early. The early bird gets the worm. Early bird gets the worm. You ready to get into the topic? Yeah. So we wanted to uh, touch on this little topic right here. Um, rapper Glorilla, rapper Glorilla, 
for those of y'all that don't know, she is the F Miss F N F song. I'm F R N T. Whatever she be. Saying. I don't know y'all. Y'all know who I'm talking about. She said that you shouldn't. I'm, I'm gonna let y'all say. I'm gonna let y'all hear what she said. Here's here's the clip. If you trust the that you met at the club, you was a hot ass miss and a goddamn fool, and you don't got no home training. Cause bitch, why the fuck would you sitting up here falling in love with a that you know you met at a place where he looking for hoes at? She said that you shouldn't meet nobody in the club, and all dudes want is hoes. Y'all, this subject is kind of near and dear to us. Yeah. And why is it so near and dear to us, Ralph? Because me and Mika met at the club. <laughs> <laughs> and did. We met at the club. You know what I'm saying? <clears throat> and when I heard her say that, I was like, me, you heard what this girl said? You know, and I was, you know, my response to that is, you can meet anybody anywhere. You can meet love anywhere. It's not. It's not about the building. It's about the person. Mm-hmm. Everybody that's in that hole in the wall club or at the club is not a bad person or a cheater or whatever the case may be. But you know, when I was growing up, I kind of felt that way too. That you can't. You don't go to the club to meet anybody yeah. because I was always told that. <clears throat> uh, uh, only thing, only thing that a person want when you meet in the club is to go home with you after the club, and you know what happens after that. That's what I always like. I was always taught. At the hole in the wall. <laughs> At <laughs> whatever club I went to, that's what I was taught. <laughs> so when me and Ralph met, I got a different perspective. I got a different view. Excuse me. I'm um, meeting somebody at the club because it wasn't like that with us. We talked. How long did we talk? I'm for a man. We talked for a good while before anything happened. Yeah. On the phone. But uh, yeah, we. You know, like I said, you can meet anybody, anywhere. If that's up to you, it's up to you. To determine whether that person is right for you or whether that person will be a good mate to you. You know what I'm saying? It's all on it's all on how you being raised, man. Everybody don't come to the club just to the top all the time. Oh, knock the boots. You know? Cause I know half the time I went to the club, that's not what I, that's never what I went to the club for. Me either, I just like to go and get drunk and have a good time. Mm-hmm. That's what I like to do. But I never went to the club to stay out to meet anybody either. Mm-hmm. So, therefore I agree with rap. You can't find love anywhere. Doesn't matter the building, doesn't matter the time. It doesn't matter about any of that. If you and the person, you know, kicking it, y'all vibing, I mean, I don't see nothing wrong with it. So y'all could be, y'all could be uh, some way painting at a sip and paint. You could be at the bar. You could be at the Pig Feet Festival. The Pig Feet Festival? Yeah. <laughs> You know what I'm saying? Love is everywhere. It just depends on that person and how they was raised. You know what I'm saying? And how they and was raised. And what they're looking people. for and where they're at in their life at yeah. that moment in time. Exactly. Of course, we're talking about Gorilla. You know what I'm saying? This is the same. And Gorilla, I like you. You you, you seem like you a, a cool person, but. I'm gonna need you to expand your uh, thinking of, you know, have a broader thinking about that. You, 
And then you didn't know that foxes existed. Huh? She didn't know that a fox was real. Like the animal fox? Yeah, fo uh, the animal fox. Girl. <laughs> Girl. Wow. I'm gonna need you to come on down here to South Carolina and I can take you around Forest Acres. Oh. I can take you around Forest Acres and show you foxes and deers and all that shit. She didn't know that fox exists? She didn't know fox existed. Oh my word. I wasn't told about that. Yeah, I probably wouldn't have said that either. <laughs> and then one time Lisa said she never had a she never had an orgasm of sex. Girl, what you doing? And who you doing it with, girl? I ain't doing it right. You just giving up the goods just because. I ain't never bust a nut. Mm. On some meat. There's always an end goal to that now. I mean, damn. Mm. Got stuff on my shirt. And on the table. Go oh, really. You got some living to do, but do your thing though. How old is she? You got to be 20 something. Huh? See, this new generation. I don't know what to say about him. Mm -hmm. Did you like my tartar sauce? Yeah, tartar sauce was good. Mm. Mm. Alright, dog it. Alright, y'all. We about to get on up out of here. Hey y'all, y'all y'all see my little new my new lock journey? <laughs> uh he should let y'all see when it was fresh. Yeah. But he has officially started his lock journey. Yes, I started it up. Y'all know y'all probably done seen me on the man cave or something like that, but yeah, I'm started. I got tired of hearing this man say, I'm the reason why he don't have dreads right now. Yeah. Told me that I had my little dreads going. And me tell you, you ain't gonna do nothing with it. You might go ahead on and cut them off. Yeah, I wish y'all would have saw when he claimed he had dreads. You know what I mean? And I listening to her behind, like like Samson and Delilah, when Samson cut his hair, I cut mine off. It was looking crazy. Could have been had my little locks. He, he didn't start his journey out. I got tired of hearing this. I said, let me sit my butt down and twist his hair. And that's what, this is where we are today. Oh, Lord, you, you are, man. <laughs> So, if y'all like this video, like, share, subscribe, hit the notification bell each and every time we drop a video. And drop that comment. <laughs> <laughs> All right, y'all. To the next time. The we next love y'all. Bye, y'all. Peace.